Imagine you've recently joined a global nonprofit to lead its automation center of excellence. You're thrilled to help deliver on the promise of robotic process automation, but something has you worried. Your boss has only given you one year to find $1 million in cost savings. Thankfully, your predecessor, Xavier, had tons of automation ideas documented in Excel. He did his best, but one spreadsheet became five, five became 10, and each one had multiple versions around the company. You need a better solution that will dynamically update across the entire organization, track your ROI, and most importantly, build an automation community. You want to inspire your team with your new motto, hashtag no more spreadsheets. Rest easy, because you've got Automation Hub. Your team is now looking to you as their confident leader, knowing you can clean up Xavier's Excel mess. While the journey to $1 million in savings still feels daunting, it's becoming increasingly feasible. More than 1,000 businesses across the world, including over 100 members of the Fortune 500, have found success with Automation Hub. Too often, RPA initiatives start from the top down, when the true untapped potential of automation is trapped inside the employees who know their own processes best. You can customize Automation Hub to best reflect how your organization is structured. This will ensure that everyone can get involved, from Amy in finance, who told you she's eager to expedite processing donations, to Jennifer, the chief people officer, who wants her recruiters to spend more time with new employees and less time processing paperwork. When you enable every employee to get involved, they become much more engaged and they help identify the best automation candidates. In this demo, we'll show you how Automation Hub provides a central location to manage your automation pipeline with full transparency, so your stakeholders stay up to date on your progress. How it accelerates the rollout of your program to all of your offices globally, ensuring an evergreen and vetted automation pipeline. How it helps you select automations in a consistent data-driven way. And most importantly, we'll show the benefits you'll reap from a COE powered by Automation Hub. Let's get you set up so employees can start submitting ideas from anywhere. Submit an automation idea, bottom up. Submitting an idea is easy for your colleagues. A simple questionnaire guides them through the process. Employees are asked questions like, how rule-based is your task? Does it require much creativity? Is the input data paper-based, digital, or somewhere in between? How about the structure of your input data? Is it in a predictable structured format or is it unstructured? Employees then say whether they expect changes in the process anytime soon. They can also attach any existing documentation to their idea, such as work instructions, standard operating procedures, or process maps. And finally, they can loop in the appropriate process owner within their organization so they can check out their Automation Hub submission. From there, Automation Hub scores their idea, giving them a sense of how suitable a process is to automate. In our case, our invoice processing idea was given a 96% automation score. Not bad. This means that it's both suitable for automation and ready to automate. Assess an idea. Let's check out what happens next. When employees submit their ideas, they are reviewed. Then, the process owner adds more detail about the idea like how stable is the process? How frequently does it happen? What's the average error rate? What are the peak periods? You can also fill in important information for any COE, such as the applications that are used. Adding more detail to the initial automation idea submission is extremely important, as it adds more context to the initial automation score for your COE. Leaderboard. Automation Hub includes a leaderboard where you can reward engaged employees. People can win points for submitting ideas or engaging with their colleagues' ideas by upvoting or following. This can even foster a competitive spirit among your departments to see who contributes most to the RPA program. Some customers are even using Automation Hub to organize hackathons and reward employees with the best automation ideas. Submit a COE-driven idea. While business employees can submit RPA ideas, there will be other times that you'll want to get to that detailed assessment page from more of a top-down perspective. 
COE leads, business analysts, and process consultants have elevated permissions in Automation Hub. They can jump straight to submitting a COE-driven idea. What about employee onboarding? Let's say your COE has used process or task mining from UiPath to scientifically surface an automation opportunity to make employee onboarding 50% faster. Or maybe the previous COE lead's dreaded spreadsheet of automation ideas is now on your plate. Never fear, Automation Hub is here. You can easily bring top-down automation ideas into one central, easily updated location. Navigate the Automation Pipeline Speaking of one location, one of the best screens in Automation Hub is the Automation Pipeline. It aggregates your automation ideas, assessment pipeline, and your decision pipeline in one easy-to-navigate place. One COE lead at a 20,000-person nonprofit calls Automation Hub's top-down, bottom-up combo a game-changer. What if you want to zero in on all of the COE-driven ideas among the finance and accounting team? It's easy to get a real-time view. Could you do that with spreadsheets? Dig into the Automation Profile page. Now let's take a look at the Automation Profile page of an invoice processing idea. This is like a homepage for your COE team as they get that idea to production. The Automation Profile page shows us what the process does and where it is in terms of assessment and development, how much it's expected to save over two years, the project plan that will bring the idea to fruition, documentation about the automation. The list of automation components that accelerated development. Who was involved on the team? Explore reusable components. Another great thing about Automation Hub is that you don't have to start from scratch every time you come up with a new automation idea. Let's check out some of the Excel components your company has saved. You can add the relevant Excel component to your invoice processing idea to store common automation elements so that developers around the company can save time. Then, when you click the Advanced Excel component, you can see which automations it's been used in. Reusable component owners can understand which automations are impacted when they publish a new component. Other RPA developers can also find inspiration from the reusable components on the Automation Profile page. And yes, maybe our hashtag needs a slight adjustment for this particular automation component. Sometimes spreadsheets are okay. Sometimes. But we still firmly believe in hashtag no more spreadsheets for running your COE. Accelerate the documentation process with task capture. Another reason why Xavier wasn't the best COE leader, he used to build process definition documents, or PDDs, by having his team copy and paste screenshots into Word documents. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Automation Hub includes access to task capture, which helps your finance team document your invoice processing example action by action just by hitting the record button. This helps your finance team and the center of excellence by expediting the pace of creating a process definition document. The finance team can even export an XAML automation skeleton to make developers' lives easier as they start working in studio. Best of all, for the COE lead tasked with finding $1 million in automation savings, the updated process documentation can be exported to Automation Hub too. This means that everyone across the company can keep up with the most recent documentation. Calculate your return on investment. Once you've documented your idea, you'll want to get more information on its estimated ROI. The ROI calculator helps you understand how profitable an automation will be. How does this look in edit mode? Here, a project manager can iteratively refine the cost and benefit estimates. The page has three main sections. The project plan where you track the main milestones and highlight the project's progression. The estimated number of robots. You can also refine the benefits. And lastly, the cost estimates which contain all the categories of costs for the implementation team. These include one-off costs, as well as the running costs that you will incur for RPA software, other software licenses, support team needs, infrastructure, etc. 
If I save and go into view mode, this will present me with compressed information that I can use to provide visibility to my stakeholders. I can also track the assessment's output in terms of baseline versus actuals. This helps me closer reflect the reality in terms of automation potential and ease of implementation. I will also have a comparison between what the process cost was before implementation, as well as what the costs post-automation were for two years. I can estimate the net benefit that I will obtain in each of the first two years post go live. And finally, I have a Gantt chart showing the comparison between the initial milestone estimates and the actual go live. Prioritize what to automate with the decision pipeline. Now it's time to deliver on those ROI calculations by choosing which automations to target first. The decision pipeline enables COE leads like you to make fast, consistent, and predictable decisions about which automations go into implementation, all based on the assessment and automation hub. It gives you and the business owners who finance the automation program you know, the ones asking for $1 million in automation savings, a prioritization recommendation to support budget requests. This is your key location to act on all of the assessed opportunities. There are two rather universal criteria. One, the benefit one could expect to obtain from automating a certain process, aka the number of hours that you can expect to give back to the business over a year. Two, the ease of implementing an automation. Let's apply an HR filter to narrow the selection down to just that department. The top two dashboards are organized around these two criteria and provide a quick overview. On the left-hand side, you can see how many automations and how many hours one could expect to save from easy, medium, and difficult automations. On the right-hand side, you can see the same info, but at a more granular level. Right below the dashboards, there is a tabular view of these automations where you can take bulk actions. That's it. You can now approve those in bulk. Dig into your automation program with comprehensive dashboards. As your automation program grows, Automation Hub offers a variety of dashboards for you to monitor progress. The average automation cost aggregates information about the cost of your automation program. You can see how much you're paying for infrastructure, software costs, RPA licenses, and more. You can even split costs by their ease of implementation. Filter all of your ideas into easy, medium, and hard so you know what to tackle next in each group's respective ROI. A planning report helps you fill in your development calendar to track a project across analysis, solution design, development, and testing. This is an aggregate view of the baseline cycle time actual cycle time, and delta for all live automations that helps you determine how close your estimate was to reality. The cost report is available for users with program manager and system admin permissions. This report provides an aggregated view of all the live automations and the cost that they're generating, split according to the types defined in the cost catalog. Besides the costs, it contains other relevant information about each automation, such as hierarchy, RPA vendor, and robot working time. See your cost savings on the Automation Program Performance Dashboard. Now, for the most important dashboard, the one that ends where we began, with millions of dollars in savings. The Automation Program Performance Dashboard enables program managers like you to answer simple questions like, one, how many ideas were approved for implementation? Two, how many ideas are in analysis, solution design, development, or testing? Three, how many automations are live and produce value? The first graph shows how your pipeline evolves over time. You can see potential bottlenecks, like approved automations that are stuck in the pipeline because more COE resources are needed. The second graph shows the expected benefits for one year if the current pipeline is implemented and includes ideas approved for implementation aka qualified, ideas in implementation, and live automations. Using the filters, you can slice the views to understand how the program is split between the different areas of the company, which ideas were collected by crowdsourcing from users, and which ones came from the COE-driven approach. In the end, these dashboards help you make informed decisions for your RPA program and win support for your automation initiatives from leadership. 
We talked about $1 million in automation savings that are in our Automation Hub demo environment. But just last week, we talked to a customer who has millions of dollars in automation opportunities identified in Automation Hub. More than 900 customers around the world are using Automation Hub today, including over a fifth of the Fortune 500. Thanks for joining us. We can't wait to see how you evolve past your predecessor, Xavier, and his love of Excel. It's time to scale your automation program with Automation Hub. Get started at uipath.com slash automation hub.